No, I Google myself just for this. The Kid Marrow wife. The Kid Marrow kids. They were very wholesome in the beginning. Now it's just like, how much are you want so I can rob you? Hey, what up? It's your boy, Jesus Nice. And I'm the Kid Marrow. And today we'll be doing the Wired Autocomplete interview. Your How Jesus and Mero. How did Jesus and Mero meet? It's like, how did Spider-Man become Spider-Man? Like, so, if you don't well, know that. The origin story. New York City High School. Mero's there, I'm there, boom, bam, them. I see him across the hallway. I was like, hey, in about uh, 15 years, you want to get together and have a show on Showtime? Mero says, yeah, let's do that. And boom, yeah. there we go. Yeah. Literally well, that easy. Uh, how did Jesus and Mero decide what topics to cover? We have what is called a topic meeting, uh, and we discuss the zeitgeist and what interests us the most. We, then we pick and choose from that uh, master list of cool shit that we want to talk about and what appeals to us the most. And also what's very important to the people, you know what I mean? Because we are late night for the people. Also, people just tag us and stuff on the internet. So, you know, sometimes we got to talk about stuff. How is the Decent Marvel podcast different from the show? Like, There's no censors. So we can say yeah. whatever we want. And yeah. if we if we don't have to say allegedly, because ain't nobody going to work. It's not worth it to try to sue us. You're not going to get any money. We're not popping like that. Also, Listen. the podcast, it doesn't have to be as edited. So we can do really hot takes the night before. And right. also, the podcast, we recorded at night. So it's kind of sexy. We record it with yeah. no shirts, and it really comes through no in the audio setting. What do Jesus and Mero drink on the show? Uh, I used to slam down the Bex. You know the Bex are decadent. That was before quarantine. Now I'm on sexy Jesus mode, sexy bod. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here on the Peloton. I'm trying to get, trying to get ripped. So my new thing, what I drink now, strictly pressed juices. All right. You see, your boy is a pressed juice. I'm not drinking anything that costs less than nine dollars retail. Okay. Shout out to Juice Press. You feel me? Okay. This is about that life. I, on the other hand, am a stress father of four. So I'm sticking to my rum. And on when I'm not rummed up, it is coffee, Bustelo, you know what I'm saying, on deck. You know what I'm saying? Because you need that, that strong, that raw. You know what I mean? This is like Colombian Coke, you know, in, in coffee format. You know what I mean? Need this. Keep it going all day with no food. Shit, what channel is Jesus and Merrill on? If you ever ran the New York City subway, you would know we are on Showtime. Showtime? No more show on late night. Ah, ah, Sundays and Thursdays. Check it out. It's your chance to experience Showtime without getting kicked in the face. You know what I'm saying? All right. Or you might, virtually. All right. What is Jesus and Mero? That's like, what is the meaning of life, dog? That question, that's a question that has no answer, dog. We are the alpha and the omega. We are everything, dog. We are the beginning and the end. We are the snake that is eating its tail, dog. We are infinity. Jesus and Mero is what happens when you divide by zero. It is what happens when you have irrational numbers divided by fractals. You know what I'm saying? It is a mathematical yeah. equation that can't you know be defined. Saying? It will blow your mind. Yo! You, know you want to know what Jesus and Mero is? Jesus and Mero is when people are like, yo, use your third eye. You can't be like, I can't. I'm on my fifth eye. Think about yo, that. Yo, wow. 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 There you go. There you, go. There you go. know what I'm saying? Stephen Hawking was studying us before he passed away. Rest in peace to the gods. What day is Jesus and Mero on? Uh, Sundays and uh, uh, Thursdays. You know the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Where is Jesus and Mero filmed? Well, currently, I am in the BX right now. I'm in my apartment. You see the sneakers. Ah, ah, ah. Haven't left my apartment in like five months. I would love to see another person, but it is what it is. So my part of the show is filmed right here in the BX. You're hey, I'm out here in Bergen County. Shout out to Phil Lowe, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Pete Town. Shout out to Patterson. That's Passaic County, Bergen County. We out here, you know what I'm saying? Just look, watching my kids run around this yard. You know what I mean? But when we film it, it's a basement, like Big Tigger. Where can I watch Jesus and Mero? You can watch Jesus and Mero legally on Showtime, which is paid cable, which is not the regular cable you get. You got to add a little more. You got to add a little spice. You know I mean? We are the parsley on paid cable. You can also watch it illegally on YouTube and on Fire Sticks. I don't recommend that, but listen, I get it. I get it. So do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I understand the struggle. You know what I'm saying? Where do Jesus and Mero get their hats? Well, we have a lovely, amazing, like, top flight wardrobe uh, stylist, Satra San, shout out to her. Satra you know Satra, uh, uh, uh. She blesses us with the finest of headwear. You know what I'm saying? Because we both struggle with uh, alopecia of the dome. 10% of our ads come from Satra. 90% of our ads we get on when you walk down the street and they ask you to sign up for credit cards or they're like, hey, do you want a water bottle or you just sign away your right life right? So most of our hats come from like Chase Manhattan, TD yeah. Bank, and uh, AM New York. So shout out to them. Free hats, that's the way you go, okay? Where do Jesus and Mero get their clothes? From all over the world. I do, I'm not joking. Just the other day I got it's a package from serious. the UK. 
So Satra, shout out to her. Satra could be Satra back in the day. If it was the early 2000s, Satra will be getting our stuff from Yellow Rat Bastard. But right. no, that that clothing store is closed. So Satra gets our stuff from all over the place. And please watch because none of our shirts are cheap. So sometimes we have our clothes on the show and you're like, what the hell is that? What and is I'm that? like, ah, 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 this t-shirt is ah. $750. How you feel? There's only five and of I'm, these. And I'm only wearing it once for half an hour to record in my sneaker closet. This is worse than the 1%. I'm like Jeff Bezos with honey on her. Wow. Ah, the guillotines are ready. Where did Jesus and Meryl go to college? Shout out to College of Mount St. Vincent in Riverdale, a.k.a. the Bronx. Ah, 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 with the sister campus, Manhattan Cop, Manhattan College. Ah, ah, shout out to all my English majors. Ah, ah, Jane Eyre gang. You're... Yo, I went to BCC. Shout out to the Bronx, <laughs> the Bronx Community College Broncos, and then moved on to Hunter College. You know what I'm saying? Which was the Hunter College Hawks. You know what I'm saying? I'm a CUNY boy. You know what I'm saying? Proud commuter. You know what I'm saying? And my college had its own trade stop. You know what I'm saying? So I was inordinately like proud about that but you know what i'm saying shout out to hunter college you know what i'm saying you made me the man i am today our Jesus and mero our Jesus our and, and mero brothers. brothers if you don't know any uh people of color you probably think we are we are not related we have different parents we did not grow up in the same house but i get it i get it you're probably looking at us and you're like wow dj envy and bamani jones but no we are totally different people okay no no relationship whatsoever are Jesus uh, and Monero Jesus the number one show in late night? This is true. Jesus and Monero were the number one Duh. show in late night before we were even on late night. So how you think feel? about it. Okay. There's a bunch of people that agree with us. You feel me? Just like there's bad people out there that think that rum raisin ice cream is delicious. You know what I'm saying? So there's something for everybody. We are such a number one show in late night. Society felt threatened. And that's why the government did not allow us to be nominated for an Emmy. I said it. I said it. Opium, it's true. Opium, All right. What Jesus like? What is Jesus's real name? Oh, that seems like a question a cop would ask. And that seems like none of your business. So why don't you mind us? You trying to bring me up on a federal indictment? Why do you want to know my real name? What's wrong with Jesus Nights? That's a better name than what my parents picked. Mind your business. What beer does Jesus drink? If you don't know this, then what do you like? What? You already know the vibes. Mr. Beck's on Decaton. If that doesn't work, I'll do a Heineken. If that doesn't work, I will drink an IPA just to be an obnoxious jerk in a bar and be like, hey, have you ever had bluefish? I brewed this myself. So yeah, the answer is Bex. You know it, Mr. Bex on deck. Ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? All right, questions for Mero. Why Mero? Why does the kid Mero wear a hat? We already know this question. This question is anti-Dominican, but we're gonna ask it anyway. Mero, Listen, why do you wear a hat? I wear a hat because me and my hairline parted ways in That's my right. mid-20s. Tell the truth. A lot of y'all do Tell this. the truth. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all do this, and this is called hairline shaming. You know what I'm saying? It it's is. It's no different than any other type of shaming. King shaming. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. You're shaming the guy that likes to do BDSM and CBT and stuff like that. Listen, Don't let do Mero that. live, all right? Mero's allowed to wear a hat. That's right. This is America, and this one is for Jesus. Where, Jesus, where does Jesus nice live? Where do I live? I mean, it's no big deal. It's just the greatest borough in the world and the greatest city in the world. Ah, ah, BX all day, New York City. Born here. My parents came here from Jamaica. They landed in the Bronx. I'm still here. You see me in the bodega. When you see me in the Chinese food store, you're like, doesn't that guy have a Showtime show? And I'm like, yeah, but I'm still in the Bronx. You run up, you get your face cut. You know the vibes. I ain't get nominated for Emmy, so I'm keeping it grimy. Ah, 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 you're... Where did Jesus grow up? Um, I will, uh, refer to my last answer. BX all day, you know the vibe. Ah, 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 233, three, you know the vibe. Shout out to the homies. 2332, three, three, I DIE. BX all day, not leaving New York. You know what I'm saying? I'm running for mayor one day, and my whole stance is going to be, we're we selling rolling papers for cheap and open containers for everybody, even homeless people. Yeah. Let's go. What is the Kid Miro's age? Because apparently, we are doing demographics or something. I'm 37 years old. I have, uh, four children. And I'm washed, you know what I mean? People ask me this all the time. Uh, I don't know why. Do I look younger? You know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate y'all that think that I'm like 25 and shit like that, you know what I mean? Shout out to y'all. But I'm actually 37 years old, you know what I mean? Which in Bronx years is 838. True, true. And next question. What is Miro's favorite bodega item? When you go to bodega, what's do you, a must cop? And I know it's not condoms. Definitely not condoms. New Miro's favorite bodega item is... A nice ice cold Snapple. You know what I'm saying? The classic Aww. Snapple lemon tea. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't beat it. You know what I mean? It takes me back to my younger years. You know what I mean? When it was like Snapple was like a fancy drink. Remember that? When Snapple was like high end iced tea. But that's it. And pre uh, TV Merrill, I would say a Newport 100. You know what I'm saying? But shh, sure. that's on the low. 
Is Jesus is Jesus a nickname? Ah, is Jesus a nickname? Some people say yes. My parents would definitely say yes. But um, seeing as I am a Manchurian candidate and I was raised by the CIA to eventually overthrow Antigua, um, yeah, I'm gonna say it's not a nickname. It's actually the file name for the process I was sent through. My actual full name is Jesus hyphen two four seven eight dot jpeg. Do not run me through McAfee. I definitely got a virus. That's right. You know what I'm saying? This is actually an acronym. I can't even tell you what it is because then I'll be murdered. Here's a question for Mero. Where is the kid Mero from? All right, come on. You know what it is. BX all day. East Street, sure. do we have? You know what I'm saying? 40 side. We out here. We did it. You know what I'm saying? But I moved all around the Bronx. So shout out to all the neighbor. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kingsbridge. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to 176. Shout out to Mount Eden. Uh, Hoffman. Hughes. Uh, University. Uh, if I keep going, I'm just going to keep going forever. So I'm going to stop right here. He's streaming all day. You know the vibe. Well, talk to is the kid Miro. I am proudly flat-footed, a full six foot two inches. Catch you with Tim's on. I'm six three and a half. Holla at your boy. This one is for the Jesus Knight. How tall is Jesus Knight? Well, as anyone who watches and is on Twitter knows, my height is a variable. Okay, shout out to all my programmer. My height is a variable character that's 255 integers, which means I could be 5'3", I could be 6'7". It just depends who's standing next to me. I'm a chameleon, all right? You see me, you don't know. Are you getting short Jesus? Are you getting the short, insecure Jesus that can't date a woman that's taller than him? Or are you getting tall Jesus who's 6'5", wearing Tim's on a date? You never know. I could be short. I could be tall. It's whatever. It's whatever you want me to be. If you want to cradle me like a newborn, I'm that height. If you want me to be the big part of the spoon, I'm that height. It's whatever you want, baby. I'm flexible. I'm versed. Dynamic. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Who is the Kid Mero? Oh, a deep one. Hey, hey, listen, man. The Kid Mero is just a kind-hearted soul who is here to spread mirth and joy to those that need it in these dark times. And I'm also here to secure these bags, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because two chains ain't enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to upgrade from the house in Jersey. You dig? Fat Joe said, yo, when you get money you from the Bronx, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Buy yourself an estate in Jersey. And I said, Fat Joe, Krill's Mania, I salute you. You are a legend in the Bronx, and I will follow your real estate advice. You know what I'm saying? So I'm out here, Burger Candy, stand the f up. That's who I am. It's your boy. Yeah, who is the Kid Mero family? Not really an English question, but hey, let's go. Shout Big Russian bot trying. energy right there. Yo, yo, for real. Shout out to you for trying Duolingo and failing. You know what I'm saying? Who is the Kim Merrill's family? This is my family. You know what I'm saying? They are great, and I love them. They're, they're wild, but I love them. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Yo, you've been chopping it up with your boy Jesus. Nice to the Kim Merrill. Thank you for your questions. You're... You know what I'm saying? We'll be back. Maybe. We'll be back, baby.